Greetings and salutations, Meg. Wizard seventy nine here with another episode of Skyrim. So basically, in our last episode, we basically killed the caller and uh, got the books and also rescued um, Ortho in the process. So uh, this is the way you get out of the keep, um, for the most part. Uh, these are soul gem fragments. They really don't do much of anything. So do do. Let's just pick up all this loot and then be on our way. Uh, I suppose I can sell that. Ooh, that's actually a very good one. Let's see. Ooh, can never have enough wheat. That is, uh, <laughs> that essentially translates to a uh, potion for me. Because uh, you take a little bit of wheat and some Bristol wort, and uh, you have yourself a very potent... Well, I mean, you just basically make a healing potion like that. Uh, this, yep, basically the door is locked because, uh, <laughs> fortunately, though, I do have the key, so I can just go back in. Uh, we're just gonna go back to the thing real quick because there were some doors that wouldn't open without a key. So, I guess I just wanna, since we're here, we might as well just finish off this zone. through this door. Oh, right. Uh, that's the door you use if you want to... Then that's how you go to get back out to Skyrim. Now that you have the key, you can just open the door if you want. I... straight-up shortcut. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> Sorry. It's just, uh... <laughs> it's still kind of early in the morning for me, and... <sighs> kind of groggy. But... Well, then. I guess that settles that. Guess we might as well just go out the proper way. Oh yeah, that just takes you down to this room, so you can open this door, and then go out. See, straight shot for Skyrim. Out we go. I just like doing that because I'm a completionist, <laughs> for the most part. But, yep. And... Oh, huh, that's weird. should say cleared. Oh well. Anyway, so, uh, yep. Guess there's no reason not to go back to the college. Eh, I miss Spears. Yeah. Basically, in a mortal wind, you used to be able to, uh, you used to have spears. I don't know why they took them out of the game. Uh, 
Oh uh, well. Ah, here's the uh, <laughs> this you know, guy right here. They say knowledge is its own reward. So this guy right here. You found some thing in Sartor. You think it, it could help make me a powerful mage? You were there. Anyway, but yeah, this is the um, this is the illusion master. And anyway, let's talk to well, Phineas real if quick. If you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronarchs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. <laughs> by sure, no. Those archaic policies died out with the Mages Guild and were never enforced here. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. Not within society, no. Many who practice within the School of Conjuration do so on their own, secretly. Thalion is the only one I know who is public about what he does. He was once my teacher here, but left the college years ago. Yeah, fun little fact. Phineas here is the only non-master at this school. His master is actually the master of conjuration, and he lives in, and he lives in another settlement. <laughs> and you have to do, a, and you basically have to like just essentially do a little quest line to basically get him to teach you the master spells. But uh, yeah, Phineas is just the expert. <laughs> Still though, he's uh. He does, uh, uh, despite the fact that he's the expert trainer, he basically sells all the best spells. <laughs> Go figure, right? He didn't like the Archmage. Hated dealing with him. Hated having to answer to him. Thalion said he hated what this place was becoming. So he just left. Aaron found a note on his desk. And that was it. I understand he settled down in Fjallmarch. <coughs> and his presence there caused something of a problem. Yeah, we'll deal with that a little bit later, but, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I'll teach you some of what I know, but be careful. So, yeah. For those of you who didn't believe me, he's just the expert. <laughs> Take a look. So, let's see. Uh. Don't need that or that. Nah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, basically, um, what do you call it? for? For the moment, all I have is just the low level ones. Um, just because of the fact that my level isn't high enough. Like your level does determine what actual spells the vendors will sell. You know, it's their way of. It's the developer's way of curving your character, you know. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I really won't need these. These are. I could just get that spell. Uh, until next time. Oh, that's right. There are few spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Oh uh, yeah. If you haven't noticed, uh. Mr. Phineas here has the same uses <laughs> as his, uh, there we go. Get out of my inventory. Alright, done with that. If you yeah, haven't noticed, uh, Mr. Phineas and Aaron, the Archmage, they share the same voice actor. <laughs> That's just typical the in any... services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. Yeah, um, basically with him, basically, uh, he actually does, uh, he does quest lines... His quest lines again they're ra his are purely radiant, but they can actually help you gain a fair bit of money. So you just basically um you know, you basically ask him if there's any jobs that need to be done. He basically sends you to basically these uh uh basically random NPCs that basically just want stuff enchanted. You go back, you basically take the item, come back here, and he gives you he gives you your reward. Simplicity itself. But yeah. Uh <laughs> Oh boy. Am I the only one who feels a little bit uneasy about placing 
an, uh, an, uh, a mystical artifact that we know nothing about right over the font of uh, the college's mystical energies. I mean, that, that's essentially, I mean, basically, like, the way I like to see it is, like, basically, th th this is, like, uh, the nexus of the ley lines that uh, crisscross here. You you're essentially putting that at the center of a ley gate. I I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> that's for sure. Anyway, let's uh, return his books to him. I'm sure he'll be pleased about that. If he's sitting down, you can't talk to him. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, <laughs> that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Yep, he gave you some very good skill Please books. make sure your hands are clean before touching anything, all right? Uh, let me see. Does Knight of Tears get put into his inventory? No, I guess that's your one and only chance to actually read the book yourself. Uh, I mean, I would have read it, but at the same time, I mean, that would have just added an unnecessarily long amount of, uh, amount of time to the actual video. So, yeah, sorry. Alright, so I have volume 3 and 7. Alright, guess I'll take that one and that one. I really am serious about getting the whole set, though. About that, I of know. that. Okay. So, I might as well just read all those skill books he gave us. So... That's one. Increased your conjuration. Um... That increases enchanting. Alteration... You get, yeah, basically, this one was the dead giveaway, because that's the alteration symbol. Same thing with that one. That's the, uh, the oblivion symbol is the symbol for... Yep, wrong one. Uh, yeah, the oblivion symbol is the symbol for, uh... Yep, this one teaches your... I mean, look at that. We're, we're about to get another level. <laughs> Destruction... Illusion. Yeah, see, he's a nice guy. He basically uh, leveled you up some, <laughs> and that's it. So yeah, so he essentially gives you one book for every class. Uh, I'm so tempted to just take that straight to uh, because you see, there's a quest line that basically needs a mammoth's tusk, and dear God, those are so few and far between. Even some vendors don't even sell them. Anyway, now that that's all taken care of, uh, let's see. Oop. So yeah, now we talk to Tolf Deer. Uh... Yep. Now we just talk to our... Alright. Let's see. Eh, I suppose he's not going to care. Usually, uh, when I play this game, I do like to stay in character, so to speak. Um, but at the same time, it's like... Well, I mean, I don't need this helmet, that's for damn sure, so I can take that off, at least. And I keep dropping it. Ugh. Anyway. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Eh, let's see what he can the say key to wards is that they take time to charge. Not long, but you can't start casting with a fireball coming at you. Also, 
If your ward isn't negated by an incoming spell, it will recharge itself after a moment or two. Just be careful. Casting wards requires constant concentration, and you can easily find yourself drained of your magical reserves. Yeah, that's the downside to wards. Like, wards are very powerful, but the problem is, is that they basically just lock you in place. They just kind of, uh, remain the status quo, if you look. Uh, I mean, uh, they just basically maintain a status quo, as opposed to actually increasing your advantage. Uh, let's see... Hmm. Well, yes. Oh yeah, this is his this quest. Is rather embarrassing, <laughs> but it seems I've misplaced something. I can't find my Alembic. I suppose I could use another one, but... Well, it sounds silly, but mine has sentimental value. If you happen to see it, would you mind bringing it to me? My Alembic. I need it for some research and can't seem to find it. Okay. So yeah, his Alembic is just basically a piece from his, uh... Um, alchemy. Uh, this, uh, alchemy, um, table and stuff. Uh, basically it's just a, it's just a piece of it. Like, uh, it spawns somewhere in the college. It'll be like under, uh, under a bench or something in a really weird place. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Wemma, Daedric, not even Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. <laughs> that was such Can a weak... Feel that? This marvelous object. It practically radiates... Alright, I'm sorry, but that was a terrible pop-in. Like, you just saw him, right? Like, he was just walking towards, and then, boop, disappeared from existence, and then he went back over there, coming from that direction, because that's where he was scripted to come from. <laughs> God, this game <laughs> never ceases to amaze me, and I'm glad that I'm catching it all on camera. Magica, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Technically, that is true, but I still report to the Old Merry Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Uh, man, he's such an asshole. I like his outfit, though. Very snazzy. And soon it will be mine, too. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Wow. Quite an ego, huh? <laughs> it's like, he'll be removed from college crowds. It's like, that guy, that monk, as you simply put it, is actually one of the most powerful mages on this planet. Because he's a member of the Sigic Order. 
Seriously, those those guys can make entire continents disappear. Or sorry, not continents, but they, they make entire land masses go bye bye. Y you really think someone like that is someone you really want to dick around with? Idiot. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. And look at that. See, he just froze time again. <laughs> he can't interact with anyone. You can interact with it him. is good to meet you in person. I've given us a chance to speak privately, but I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object. The Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm also aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. <laughs> Uh, let me uh, paraphrase what he's saying here. The game developers don't want us to basically do this for you. You have to play the game. Play the game! <laughs> but no, uh, basically, it, it, basically lore-wise, this is very true. Basically, these guys are very neutral and they don't like getting involved in things. That's the reason why they basically made their entire island disappear because um, the other ma basically other magical organizations were basically working against them trying to learn their secrets and well they realized that they couldn't allow that to happen so they just vanished into the aether if you will. I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Ah, uh, now we get to meet one of my personal favorite characters in this specific game. He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Where were you about? What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here she is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. 
I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. <laughs> I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. <laughs> oh, Aaron, if you only knew. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Uh, until next time. <sighs> uh, yeah, it's, it's really sad though, like, you know, like, in a way, Aaron appears like he's incompetent, but believe it or not, he's actually quite, uh... He's actually quite the, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? That... Like, um... Get rid of that one. Um... Eh, I'll hold on to that for now. Anyway, let's see. Alright. Looks like about it. That's all I wanted to do. Just get rid of some of that weight. Anyway. Um, but yeah, basically... Mm, might as well make a potion or two real quick. <laughs> uh, let me see. Got resist fire. That'll help. That helps. Can never have too many of those. Magical weakness. I don't need that. That's for sure. I mean, I could actually not. Well, mm, if I want to incorporate that to my bow, maybe. Anyway. All right. Let's see. What do I want to put the perk in? Let's put, get some health this time. I should start putting it into my stamina. Um. Anyway. Um. Should go into apprentice because that'll start. Mm. Right, that's twenty five. Uh, um, yeah, there it is, mage armor. Ah, uh, thing is though, basically, since I am wearing armor, it's not gonna do me any good. <laughs> um. I haven't made a single enchantment, and I won't be making one for a while. Um... Uh, eh, let's learn the... Apprentice level spells. How much money do I have on my... 885? Alright. Let's go do some shopping real quick before we continue with the rest of the quest line. Uh, that means though I have to go and find... What's her face? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. Finding his alembic, it, what do you call it? Like it doesn't um, it doesn't appear as an active quest. All right. Um, the beauty uh, the thing I like about this is that basically uh, you don't have to go to the ground floor to go to the end of the towers. You just have, all you have to do is just go to the arcanium, and then you can just go around this way. And then you can get to the, you can get to each of the individual uh, areas from above. Like, see, that's one, and then that's the other one. That's the dormitories over there. This is basically where the teachers are, for the most part. Yeah, the Hall of Continents. <laughs> this is usually the teachers' quarters. Do, do, do. Let's see, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, nope, that's
That's the restoration teacher. I don't need her services just yet. Uh, so yeah, so his Alembic will be under one of these benches and... And there it is! Just like that. Now all we do is just go back to Tolfdir and uh, give it back to him. Easy peasy. Uh, oh. Alright, so let's just go down to... Enchanting services. Are... The <sighs> local Nords may not like us very much, but they don't seem to mind having access to enchanted weapons and armor. Well, sure is. I've got another client. Wants me to do some enchanting. You can do the pickup for me if you want. All right, be quick about it, will you? This is a good way for the college to bring in some money. Here's the name and location of the client. Until next time. Let's see. Nope, that's the illusion teacher. Mirabelle does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. Right, let me just Until back next up a teeny time. bit. Man, why is she so much taller than me, considering I that we're both high I can't wait to see who succeeds Mirabelle. I've no doubt she'll be promoted to Archmage at some point. The Augur? Really? Well, it's certainly not my place to say anything about it. I think you'd better go see Mirabelle Irvine. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Alright, let's see. Um, Firebolt is good. Frostbite is good. That's what I want, though. Lightning Bolt. Take that. Um. I already have Frostbite. Uh. Well, I'd rather not blow all my stuff at once. Uh, let me see, what can I sell real quick? Eh, I don't need those or that. Yeah, take the rings. Alright. Until next time. Boop, boop, boop. That is one of my favorite spells. It's a very powerful... Okay, now then. Let's go find Tolfdirir and Mirabelle. So... Yeah, that's one of the things that... Uh... Oh, it's pointing over here. That means that they must be... Uh... Well, at the very least, Tolfdirir must be in here. I want to talk to Mirabelle first, though, because Tolfdirir is the one who actually progresses the quest, so to speak. Uh, yep, that's Tolf Deer right there. Shazargo. He slips in here? Huh, go figure. That guy. That's where she sleeps. That one's my room. See if I can find Mirabelle, though. Ah, there she is. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. That's nothing you need to concern yourself with. <laughs> there are no expectations. This college is a place to study and practice magic freely. Hopefully any discoveries made in your pursuits will be shared with the members of the college first. That way we all benefit. So yeah, as you can see, she's very businessy. No more than anyone else, I don't think. They're a very old order, predated the Imperial Majors Guild by quite a bit. In fact, the Majors Guild was founded in opposition to the idea of the Sigic Order, that only an elite few should have control over magic. No one has seen or heard from them in over a hundred years now, though. <laughs> and the fun fact is, the Majors Guild doesn't even exist anymore. 
Well, that depends on what you're looking for. Veralda can teach destruction spells and offers training in that school. Finnis is one of the best conjurers in all of Skyrim and can help with spells from that school. Don't let Tolfdir fool you. He's the preeminent scholar on alteration. One of the best in Tamriel and always willing to pass on his knowledge. If you can find him and focus his attention, there's a great deal Drevis can teach you about illusion magic. And finally, there's Colette. She may be difficult to get along with. She's very knowledgeable when it comes to restoration magic. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Ah, yes, there it is. Thank you so much. Right, and he gives you 30 gold and a petty soul gem. Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, the, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard, delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. That's what led to the accident. Take care now. Alright. Now to access the mitten, we just go out here. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. <laughs> now her... Uh, fun thing about her, she she's also, uh, uh, basically she, I guess you could say she's kind of like the, um, the big girl on campus, she's basically, uh, it's weird, she's essentially, I guess you could kind of think of her as a prefect, um, because she she's also kind of a student, but at the same time she is also a, uh, she's also kind of considered a member of the faculty at the same time, um, essentially, her and the... Altmer that can teach you, um, uh, Ferelda, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, now for the, um, just, uh, oh, before I get, before I go on that, let me just explain one quick thing about this place. So, as far as this place is concerned, it's not that dangerous. The most thing, the, the most you would have to worry about is usually skeletons, but at the same time, there is a chance for a frost troll to spawn down here, so, um, just be careful is all I'm saying. Okay, so yeah, down there. But yeah, but basically, uh, but yeah, but back to the two elves. So yeah, so basically, the thing about those two elves is that basically they kind of have a rivalry. Um, basically, or at least she thinks they're having a rivalry. Uh, the the other one, the the master, uh, trainer in destruction. She doesn't really, for the most part, um thinks that basically the two that the two of them are basically um at odds with each other she sees it more as like oh like basically you know basically we're just like um sort of like you know she's just wondering like hmm i wonder what's up with her like why is she so <laughs> oil uh i wonder what happened to this guy but uh yeah essentially Oh, right. Ice rates. Okay. Um. Oh, Alright. So, yeah. Ice rates suck. I definitely should put this on. Um. Unfortunately, he's. <laughs> Whoop. At least he was stuck in the environment. Get it on. Nope, I didn't. 
that's unfortunate. Oh well. But, um... Anyway. Um, essentially, basically, long story short, is that pretty much the two of them, they just, uh... uh they don't necessarily see eye to eye, so to speak. You know, like, basically, like, um... The one, uh, basically, the the more aggressive one. She, uh, she's going, uh, she's going like she's completely jealous of me, of everything, my talent, my, uh, basically, my knowledge, my superior good looks. <laughs> uh, I think I might actually even humor that bit of dialogue later, but yeah, essentially, basically, both of them just are sort of at odds. But yeah, I forgot ice rates spawn down here. Yeah. Ah, now this place. Ooh, ooh, this place is special. Should be, uh, yep, there's a book right here that actually explains everything. And I'm gonna need that for later. Ooh, and a ruby. Yeah, essentially this allows you to basically summon astronauts that will follow you, um, until they die. Uh, basically right here, like, to create a flame astronaut, you just need a ruby and some fire salt, you know, so on and so forth for the others. Uh, I'll leave the book right here, just in, uh, basically just because it's, uh, it's better to have it there than have to, than me carrying it, because that way I'll always have an easy reference guide, and besides it just thematically makes sense to be there. Actually, no. I don't know if I used that word right. Um... Yeah, well, whatever. I'm committing. Uh, what's in here? Eh, just a... That's a bandana, not a hat. Anyway. But yeah, this place could be a little bit confusing, so to speak. Uh, what's that? Ooh, you can use that and that. Okay. Draugr. Let's put that on. <laughs> God, I love that spell. Oops. I wanted that, not the freaking. Pretty much it. Ah, here we go. This is where we want to go. We need to get deeper. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, that chest. Uh, don't go for that chest just yet. If you go for that chest, you can't get back up. Here's where, like, a bunch of skeletons just get up. Yeah, I mean, you can even hear them. Yeah. There's, like, a ton of skeletons in here. <gasps> they're so... They're so laughably weak. There we go. I think these are considered petty souls. At least I hope. I don't want to end up wasting... Yeah, these are all petty souls. I still have... four more petty... Yep, yeah, just a bunch of dead skeletons. <laughs> okay, this right here. This is part of a broken quest line, if you will. Uh, you gotta go around and find five rings and then place them. Yep. I won't even touch this right now. 
but uh, we'll put a little bookmark on that later. Yeah, it's part of a broken quest line that doesn't really reach resolution, if you will. And anyway, all right, so we keep going this way. Shh, yep, he's right behind that door, if I recall. Your perseverance will only lead to disappointments. Still, you persist. Very well, you may enter. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Augur of Dunlane. I am that which you have been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. It has already begun. But those who have sent you have not told you what they seek, what you seek. You seek that which all who wield magic seek, knowledge. You shall find this. Knowledge will corrupt. It will destroy. It will consume. You seek meaning, shelter in knowledge. You will not find it. The Thalmor sought the same thing, and it shall lead to his end, as it has so many others. <laughs> no, though you may be the last, the one who calls himself Ancano has sought my knowledge as well, through very different questions. Your path differs from most. You are being guided, pushed towards something. It is a good path, one untraveled by many. It is a path that can save your college. I will tell you what you need to know to follow it further. You and those aiding you wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. And just like that, the plot thickens even more. God, I really love this quest line. It's so much fun. I don't need that anymore. Anyway, let's head back up, shall we? So, yeah. Oh, uh, fun little fact about the Augur of Dunlane. Um, eh, might as well just get it right now. Ooh, I almost missed. There we go. But yeah, the thing about the Augur of Dunlane, um, we meet him one more time, so to speak. Well, I mean, we meet him a few more times. But, um, no. oh. But yeah, the, um, basically, the thing about the Augur of Dunlane is that, uh, <laughs> he is, uh, basically not only the most, um, powerful being in this school, at least in terms of, uh, just raw magical potential and knowledge and all that stuff, he's also the person who teaches you the master restoration spell that's right he's not the master trainer but he's the one that teaches you the spell 
Oh, okay, so now that we're out here, it's just much more easier than having to navigate through all that again. <laughs> it also lets us get the chest at the same time. But, uh, alright, I already used that perk. Okay, so, um, for now, mm, let me see. Uh, wait for all good intentions. Alright, well, let's just report to Aaron, um, and then we'll call it a episode. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Really? And what might that be? I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. <laughs> I like this one. I certainly do. You mean me, Since you, you went so far as to seek out the auger for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. And just like that, our mage's hood has become obsolete. Because this does the exact same that this thing does. And it actually, no, it weighs more. Eh, never mind. I just say it's obsolete because it looks cooler. And it basically looks really nice. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so basically now we have Revealing the Unseen. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, we'll basically um do that one later though uh for now basically in the next episode we'll probably finally go do we'll probably focus on the minor side quests we have at the moment um i want to be a little more high level before i go do this one like probably 10 or yeah like if we it basically when we get in uh, like i yeah i, I want to be like level 10 before i go and tackle that one not because it's necessarily that hard or anything but it's just because uh what do you call it like there are just some things that basically um eh, there's just other things we can just do right now since uh we're this far into the quest line but uh yeah though uh, until that time though this is mega wizard 79 bidding you all adieu